Now, the International Civil Aviation Organization is meeting in Montreal. It's trying to hammer out a deal on an EU carbon tax known as the Emissions Trading Scheme. Essentially, also at the same time, new technologies to make Chinese planes greener are also in show here in Beijing at an aviation expo. Grace Brown has more. The EU's planned 15% carbon tax could have cost eight Chinese airlines, including China Eastern and China Southern, fines of 2.4 million euros, or roughly 3 million US dollars. Earlier this month, though, sources with the EU indicated it's willing to compromise if its opponents, led by China and the United States, apply a similar levy by 2016. Now, Brussels has put the plan to the International Civil Aviation Organization in the hope of reaching a deal to tackle airline emissions. But at the Beijing Aviation Expo, other ideas are in the pipeline to make airlines more carbon friendly. Despite its strong opposition to the EU's carbon tax, China is taking steps to cut its carbon footprint in the skies, with new technologies being unveiled at the Expo today that will make Chinese airlines greener in the future. One example is the Electric Green Taxiing System, or EGTS, developed by Honeywell and Safran as an alternative to turbofan engines. When it hits the market in 2016, it could save airlines up to 200,000 US dollars a year during takeoff and landing, a significant part of airlines' fuel costs. Chinese plane makers are going green too, not just to cut costs, but to comply with China's latest aviation policy. We give great emphasis to environmental protection. We will use new engines for the C919 that cut carbon and save energy. We've made a specific outline for further developments in this area, which follow the request of our administration. The C919 will be ready in 2015. Airbus's newest model, the A350, is also designed to save fuel, made in a joint venture with its Chinese partners. In the A380, we had around 20% of the total weight of the dead frame in carbon fiber. In the A350, we have half of it. 50% is carbon fiber. That makes a difference. And for sure, in terms of savings, uh, fuel burn, because it's lighter. Though China's demand for airplanes will account for 60% of the world's total, it's now looking to balance this with saving fuel and the environment. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.